The Kuot language, or Panaras, is a language isolate, the only non-Austronesian language spoken on the island of New Ireland, Papua New Guinea. There are about 2,400 speakers, concentrated primarily on the northwest coast of the island. Perhaps due to the small speaker base, there are no significant dialects present within Kuot. Status Kuot is an endangered language with most if not all children growing up speaking Tok Pisin instead. Phonology Consonants Vowels The vowels, I, and, U, tend to become glide vowels in occurrence with other vowels. The length of the vowels is not making differences for the meaning of words. The appearance of I and U with other vowels cannot be seen as diphthong or a combination of vowel and glide vowel. There are never more than three vowels per syllable. The combination of diphthong and vowel is also possible but they are pronounced in conditions of the syllable. Diphthongs are spoken like one sound. Allophones Morphophonemic alternations T Two. R. Alternation. The phoneme T, in certain possessive markers, such as Tua, Tu, and Tuo, becomes R when it comes after a stem ending in a vowel. Compare Ira Rua my father, Lugantua my house, Irama Ruo, my eye. Nabam tua my feather. Vowel shortening. Where the third person singular masculine suffix o is used on a noun that ends with a vowel, this vowel is typically not pronounced. For instance, ama o is pronounced ama, not ama. Voicing rule. When vowel initial suffixes are added to stems that end in voiceless consonants, those consonants become voiced. For example, Obarit O, Obarito, he splits it, Ta O, Ta Beta O, he drinks, Merrick O, Mario, he prays the phoneme P, becomes Beta, not B. Sip O, C Beta, it comes out. Arap a i ra beta her eyes. Grammar. The language uses a VSO word order, similar to Irish and Welsh. The morphology of the language is primarily agglutinative. There are two grammatical genders, male and female, and distinction is made in the first person between singular, dual, and plural, as well as between exclusive and inclusive. For instance, the sentence parak o iru rua kamin literally means, My father eats sweet potato. Parak o is a continuous aspect of the verb meaning, To eat. Ira means, Father. Rua is a suffix used to indicate inalienable possession. My father. And kamin is a simple noun meaning, Sweet potato. See also. East Papuan languages References External links Kuot Swadesh 100 Word List